Hello students, hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is Modular Arithmetic. Lesson 5, Simple Equations in Modular Arithmetic. Examples, solve the following equations. Example 33, we have 3 plus S equal to 4 modulo 5. We should find S. What you have here is like a simple linear equation. 3 plus S equal to 4. You need to collect like terms. So you transfer plus 3 to the right hand side. So when you do that, you have only S left in the left hand side. So S is equal to 4 minus 3 modulo 5. And S is equal to 1 modulo 5. If you check 1, 1 is an element in modulo 5 and as such no other simplification is required therefore we can conclude that s is equal to 1 as simple as it is example 34 we have s squared plus 1 equal to 2 modulo 7. This is like a quadratic equation. But we don't need to factorize anyway. We can also collect like terms and take square root. So if we collect like terms by transferring plus 1 to the right hand side, we are left with s squared equal to 2 minus 1 modulo 7. So we have s squared equal to 1. What we we'll do next is to take the square roots of both sides in order to get s. Square root of s squared becomes s and the square root of 1 is plus minus 1. It follows that S is equal to 1 modulo 7 or S is equal to minus 1 modulo 7. If you look at the first result, 1 is an element in modulo 7, but minus 1 is not an element. And in the lesson under addition and subtraction, we said that if you have negative remainder, what you do is to add it to the modulo you are working with. So if you add minus 1 to 7, you have 6. So 1 and 6, they are elements in modulo 7. Therefore, S is equal to 1 or 6. Hello. Example 35. We have 2 bracket open S minus 5 bracket close equal to 2 modulo 8. If you don't wish to open the bracket in the left hand side, you can also divide through by 2. Because I'm trying to look at these two here and these two. If you divide through by two first, we are left with S minus 5 equal to 1 modulo 8. Then you can collect like terms by transferring minus 5 to the right hand side. When you do that, you are left with S equal to 1 plus 5 modulo 8. 
and when you add you have s equal to 6 modulo 8 clearly 6 is an element in modulo 8 and as such no further simplification or reduction is needed therefore s is equal to 6 it is as simple as the way it is end of lesson 5 thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of Peter Cos. the voice you are hearing is the voice of Peter Cos. lastly if you are not safe your life is in crisis to avoid that you give your life to the one that can save you and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and you confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life if you are safe already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and the lord will bless you good bye